Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use the jog dimensions or what are the jog dimensions. So firstly I will go to annotate and then I will click on the dimension style manager and then I will create a new dimension style and name it D10. Then I will click on continue and then I will go to symbols and arrows. There I find the radius jog dimension and linear jog dimension. So, firstly we will see how to apply the jog. So, here we find that the radius of the jog is 40 degree. The angle of the jog is 40 and the jog height factor is 2. Let me make it uh, as keep it as 2 and click on OK and then I will select set current and then I will close the window. Now my I have a plan here and my land area is actually larger but to suit the visibility requirement I have drawn it slightly smaller in the AutoCAD. So to begin with let me take the dimension of this line in AutoCAD. I will take the linear dimension and then I'll take the dimension of this line. As, I, as we can see, I have already used break lines to represent this boundary. So it means that the actual size of this boundary is larger than what it, it is showing in this AutoCAD file. So my actual size is 2, 2, 0, 0. So I have entered my actual size. Now to represent that I have changed this dimension and this is not the actual dimension. I will have to give a jog line. So I will go to annotate and in annotate I find dimension of jog line. So I select on it and then the command is showing select dimension to add jog. So I select this dimension. And now it is the command is showing specify jog location. So I specify the jog location here. Now I have added a jog. So whenever someone will see this drawing and see this jog, he will he or she will recognize that it is not the actual length in AutoCAD, but since the plot area is my land area is larger and for suiting the visibility requirement I have drawn it slightly smaller in AutoCAD. So now in this jog this angle and this angle are the jog angles. So let me go again to the dimension style manager click on modify see now we have this radius jog dimension jog angle so I will keep the jog angle as 45 degrees and the jog height factor let me decrease the jog height factor to 1. Click on OK, click on set current and then close. See we can find that the height has decreased. So if I want to increase it again I will go I will select it and then I will go to again to dimension style manager then click on modify and then increase the jog height factor to suppose say 4 click on ok set current close you can see that the height has height of the jog has increased so i want to keep this height of the jog as one only as it is uh, sufficient so i'll click on modify and then put the jog height factor as one i'll click on ok then close so in this video we have known what is the use of a jog in AutoCAD and how it is used in dimensioning. So thank you for watching the video and please subscribe to our channel.